This is today's bait. Little shiner. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. First cast of the day. Smoked one. All right, guys, day two at Clear Lake, California. Yesterday we did bass. Adrian caught big fish of the day, which was a little over five pounds. It was a grind. Check out this weather. Clouds. A little bit of sprinkles, a little bit of rain. We planned these trips a year in advance to come out here and fish Clear Lake. And uh, the weather is just going to be horrible this week. The next three days it's going to be pouring down rain um 15 20 mile an hour winds i don't know how much fishing we're going to get in but as far as today it's windy it's freezing cold but we're going to try to get some crappie with some live bait i'll show you the bait we're using real quick there it is so all i'm doing is i'm getting my little shiner and then you get your hook from under the bottom lip through the top nose just like that's how i'm doing it and then I've got two split shots right here to a bobber and shoot I probably got five to six foot leader I'm just letting it sit there and you're pulling it down I haven't fished like this with a bobber in years so it's pretty fun actually if you want to recast right to the front too there's structure a big tree or something there's fish on it it's only 15 feet so. yeah straight to the front Still got your fish bait on it or no? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I'll just throw the dead ones. We'll fish the dead ones after the live ones are through. Huh? Nice. Beautiful. First and in. Oh, man, it, it, when you're on them, they're easy. Yeah, you know? copy right there, though? Yeah. There's two on the screen out there. Yeah, I see them. Got him. Got him. You need a net. It's only six-point test. Yep, yep. Cut right, you're going to run over my line. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Seen you smoked a nice one. I've cut a crop here so long. Oh man, before you hit that motor, I'm gonna have to grab my pole. Juju, can you grab my pole and make sure it don't tangle up? Alright, here we go. It's nice. That makes four now, right? Yeah. Don't, don't, yeah, my line's right there. I, I see your line, so we're okay. good. Nice one. Alright, so it's super windy. We weren't able to stay on the, the schools of crappie. They're right down by structure, so we went ahead and used the marker buoys and they're finally working for once. We dropped it right on that structure. It's like a big tree down there. It's covered in crappie and this wind kept pushing us off of them. So we marked them, now it's working. Juju's on fire. We're staying upwind of them and just letting the bait drift right towards uh, the marker and we're on them. Beautiful work.
got one over there, look. Bunch. Look at all them crappie. We're gonna be eating good tonight, that's for sure. Crappie. Crappie sandwich. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, we caught a ton of fish. Clear Lake's been fun. Crappie fishing. We're gonna head out and go cook some up, right? Yes, sir. We just smoked them. We found a school with our electronics and everything, and then dropped some shad down. Not shad. Shiners down there and smoked them right now. So that's cool. We're gonna go look at them all when we can get in a pocket without as much wind. Right Dang it, we don't know how the GoPro on. <laughs> we came back to check this little spot out that we were seeing bass in the other day. And sure enough, seeing it smoke some of the ones we were seeing. We were just out smoking the crappie and then <coughs> flipped back a little jig, a little Texas jig, and smoked it. I wait. My hand's frozen, so. Not bad. Not fatty. I'm gonna release it. Do a little Instagram story. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. We're back. Back at the room, look at that view. Beautiful. The fishing stuff in here. It's yeah. it looks like a murder scene out here. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. Really cleaning the crappie. Got a lot of them. I didn't see a fish cleaning station over there either. This is a good amount of work. Man, that crappie looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Well, dinner's rolling. Got a nice salad, salsa, avocados. <laughs> Look at this. Got some potatoes cooking up with the fish inside the sandwich. So, fish turned out absolutely amazing. This is a side of potatoes. Bomb. Mm mm. Nice salad, good potatoes, something good to drink. Crappy in the sandwich. So we've been busy here and that's why it's hard to do everything and film at the same time. Especially, you know, when you're trying to make do with what you got in these hotel rooms and stuff. But here's tonight's meal from the crappie we caught just the other day. I think yesterday, actually. Time's flying by, but we're not going to get to do much fishing because the weather absolutely flipped on us out here. And uh, the weatherman keeps getting it wrong and we just don't know what's going on. It's been cold, rainy, extremely windy. So... We made do with the best we could with the time we had. We might try to scrounge up one more, but I'm not sure. But here's the meal. Got a nice salad, potatoes, crappie. It's inside the sandwich. <laughs> Just mayonnaise as always. Some toasted bread. This looks like rye bread though, this time. Never tried it with rye bread, so let's get a quick taste. Mmm. Good as always. I tell you guys, whenever you're cooking fish, butter, and with this one, just salt and pepper. Butter, salt, pepper. Absolutely amazing. Mayonnaise and bread, you have the best fish of your life, I swear to it. You know, I used to fry fish a lot, but to be honest, it gets repetitive. It's the same. This just hits a little bit different taste buds than normal, and it just, it, it does something different. So if you haven't had fish like this, 
definitely got to do it. You don't impress your friends and family, but so that's it. So probably no more fishing at Clear Lake. It's just the last day here, we'll just go hit up a bar or something and <laughs> go to a beach. So I don't know, but thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors.